Hi, I'm Shakisha Alexander and I'm the director for the Animal Assisted Interventions Program in the River Route School District. I'm a veterinary social worker and I want to tell you about the happiest place in the district. Like deep down inside, you know you can't fail. How long should I stay dedicated? How long can opportunity need preparation? I need some real work and reparations. Or oh, I run up in your bank just for recreation. Dedication, hard work, plus patience. To some more of my sacrifice, I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting, told you that I wasn't playing. Now you hear what I've been saying, dedication, dedication. As a veterinary social worker, I focus on human-animal interactions and the human-animal bond. And here in the school district, we have a supportive and healing program that's actually tailored for the trauma-sensitive environment. All right, how you feeling, everybody? I serve as the district director for culture, health, and wellness here at Riverview Schools. And on behalf of our superintendent, Dr. Coleman, and our deputy superintendent, Dr. Coleman, we want to thank you all for coming out to the Riverview School District and for being a supporter. So the Pup Culture Lab is, is the headquarters for the Animal Assisted Interventions Program. It's the first of its kind. Um, Dr. Ravel, the principal of STEM, was just so kind to give me a classroom to actually transform into the Pup Culture Lab. A lot of the things that we're doing in the, in the district are innovative, first of its kind. It's a few programs. It's called a series of fortunate events. So we have six dogs in a program overall and each dog has its own fortunate event. So students will spend time with those dogs during those events. We have reading with Rumi, coloring with Cody, bonding with Bailey, learning with Lola, studying with Sir Bentley, and we have Fridays with Frankie. As an undergrad student, I was researching about social work and the connection between animals and social work just working together with that and I ran across this fabulous book, um, Human-Animal Interactions by Dr. Hoy Gerlach. It is my honor to be here today. What River School District has put together here is cutting edge. This is the first school facility dog training center in the country to be located in the school. I do not know. Every time you walk in the door, something's wagging their tail and they're just happy to see you. Imagine what a child feels like when they might have a speech impediment and they want to learn how to read and get their phonics together. And they're doing that in the presence of an animal not Something that I really love about this program is just the ability to teach. So we call it animal assisted education as well. So we're welcoming junior handlers into the program to teach them how to train dogs. So everything that we've been working on, we're going to go over and look at. So in addition to having our pub culture lab, we have our teacher's pet program. So we have pets in the classroom, and we know that pets make people happy, and having the pets in the classroom create a happy environment, and that also helps with learning. Because if you're going through something, um, anxiety, stress, depression, or anything like that, it can actually impact your learning and your memory. And again, it's not, you know, pets are the cure for all things, but there are some scientific benefits that this program uh, has literally placed in the middle of a school. Just thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity and just your excitement about the program. We're just excited about it.